Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel The Day in Release Life and I hope everybody is doing great. This video is a continuation video of the previous one where I have shown you how I have explored the new bookstore in Kolkata, The Story. If you have not yet watched that video, please go ahead and watch that. I'm going to provide the uh, link to that video in my description box. After exploring the bookstore, we came to Eco Park, and uh, the reason of coming to Eco Park is basically to explore the new attraction in Eco Park, which is the Japan Garden. So basically, in order to go to the Japan Garden, you can easily get down at gate number one, and then you will obviously take the ticket, and you can go to the Japan Garden. However, for some reason, that gate was closed that day and we had to walk a long distance and reach to gate number 7 or 8 where we could see the Eiffel Tower. So from there, we took the right turn and went into the gate and it was a very short distance from there to reach the Japanese garden. This is how the entrance looked like. If you have ever been in any monastery, you would definitely see these kind of structures at the entrance of the gate. And the good thing about this particular place is that it is absolutely free. Um, you can just get in the forest uh, very easily without any extra charges. And by the way, I named this as Japanese Garden, but it is actually called as Japanese Forest. So please excuse me for that. Upon entering, you will see this red statue of Buddha, which looks very subtle with the greenery in the background. And from there, you will have to take the left to go ahead and explore the forest, basically. The first stop of this forest is going to be the small Buddhas. So the relevance of the small Buddha is that they are the protector of the forest and it says that they come to life at night to protect the forest. And if you look at them very carefully, uh, with all of your attention, you will be able to see yourself in one of the Buddha. The next stop is going to be the labyrinth. Relevance of this labyrinth is basically to check your mindfulness and concentration. So this is a maze-like structure with a walkable path and if you are taking a round on this walkable path, you will have to be very concentrated doing that. After passing through the labyrinth, you will have to pass through this beautiful tunnel. I don't think they have made it for any relevance or so, but it is just for beautification purposes. Next stop in the garden is a zigzag bridge. It resembles the fact that you have to be mindful if you are walking on this bridge because if you are not concentrating on your walking then you will stumble upon the wood and that can harm you or you will fall down basically this also resembles the fact that you need to be present as to where you are the next part is the bamboo lights and in the bamboo light section it says that the bamboo light has a direct connections with the star as well as in japan it symbolizes prosperity purity and innocence Moving on, we saw the Moon Gate. This Moon Gate symbolizes birth and renewal. And here it says that they also said to have a connection in between the heaven and earth. The next stop was Hug a Tree. And in this part of the garden, there were a number of trees. Here is my husband hugging a tree and then showcasing us to he was feeling rejuvenated. I know he was making sarcasm, but yeah, anyway that we had to walk down the staircases which were beautifully made and there were small statues on the left hand side and the right hand side of the staircase. Upon crossing the staircase and the pathway we crossed a very small bridge and this is the bridge that I'm talking about. After crossing this bridge we went to this beautiful uh, structure or a tunnel like thing. Now, I don't know if there is any symbolic um, importance of this structure, but uh, in Kolkata, if you're going for a wedding shoot or a pre-wedding shoot, then this is a place they would definitely visit and it's quite famous for that and also the lighting is kind of very beautiful for the shoot. So passing through that tunnel, ultimately we reach the monastery and this is the monastery and this is how it looks like. Um, as because it was evening and the lights were lit up, it actually looked very um, elegant and beautiful. Um, I don't know if it would look the same in the morning without the lighting. 
Now, after getting in, I wanted to also see what is um, there inside the monastery. So I opened my shoe as instruction was there already. And uh, I wanted to peep inside because the door was locked. And um, I th- they were kind of uh, making it or the work was in progress. So there was just one Buddha statue and the bells, two bells. So those were the main part of the garden. And you would also see a very small eatery outside the garden and just opposite to that you will also see bamboo chine uh, basically if you walk through the bamboo chine it would give you a uh, positivity and good energy and that is what it, it is said to be kind of symbolic to that um, so i did took a round on that and then i came out from the garden so that is how we have explored the japanese garden and it was time for our evening tea so we enjoyed our tea with the beautiful view and with that, let's end the vlog today. I hope you've liked the vlog and if you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you soon again. Bye.